Hey guys, Chaos in the Sky, and we are back with more Pokemon Dark Energy. Last we left off, I screwed up and accidentally got rid of Gengar's Hypnosis for Shadow Ball, so I didn't save, and it sent me all the way back to before I fought Super Onyx. So I caught him with the Master Ball again, got the little side quest mission complete thing, came back, beat the gym again, and got rid of Nightshade for Shadow Ball like I meant to in the first place. I didn't level anyone up, they're all 53. One of them might have been 54 last time when we beat the gym, but stuff changed a bit because I reset to fix the whole Hypnosis Shadow Ball deal. But that's all good now, and we've got everyone, and I also went real quick, and I bought a... go over here. There's my Water Stone, and I bought a Thunderstone, and we have two D-Stones. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the first D-Stone on Jolteon. And Jolteon is going to evolve into Eevee, which makes no sense. It should say D-Evolve, but whatever. Whatever works. So this will change Jolteon into Eevee again. And then we're going to use, as soon as I can get the screen to go, there we go. Now we're going to use the Water Stone I bought a while back to evolve Eevee into Vaporeon, which is probably like my third favorite of the Eeveelutions. For Jolteon is my favorite, Leafeon is like second, and then Vaporeon comes in third, kind of. So there's Vaporeon, and we still have a D-Stone and a Thunderstone that I bought, so we're going to jump over to the TMs and HMs, and go to Surf. We are going to teach Surf to... You already know Surf, why would I... Tauros can learn Surf, I might do that. Go to Vaporeon, and we're going to get rid of Quick Attack for Surf. Make sure I don't mess up like I did last time. I tried to teach Gengar the Shadow Ball. And get rid of Quick Attack, and we get Surf. There we go. And now we're going to jump back over here and use our other D-Stone that we found on Vaporeon. And Vaporeon is going to evolve back into Eevee. Give it a minute to change. Yep, yep, almost, almost, almost. Uh, I hyperspeeded a bit there to get through it. And so now we've got Eevee again. And lastly, we're going to use this Thunderstone that I bought to evolve Eevee back into Jolteon. And I'm hyperspeeding that as well, because I'm getting tired of watching these evolution sequences. All right, sweet, now that that is done, we'll jump in here and take a look at Jolteon. His health or something might be different. I don't know how that affected his stats. But he now has Psybeam from when he was in Espeon, Bite, which he learned naturally, or Eevee did, someone learned that, Surf, which I got from him being a Vaporeon, and Thunderbolt, which he learned himself. So, awesome. Jolteon now has a Dark-type move, a Psychic-type move, a Thunder type, an Electric-type move, and a Water-type move, which is awesome. So now we are going to head to East Sudan. To the, um, what was it called? Area 121. Central Gate is left, Area 122 is right. I think there was some kind of a mountain we have to cross. Hey, talk to me. I'm going to beat you. How much you want to bet that you're wrong? I am fairly certain. Oh, you're a bug catcher, dude. You're not going to beat me. Dale. Bring it on, Dale. What level is your Beedrill? You're only level 39, man. You don't stand... You don't stand a ghost of a chance. Oh, 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 oh. Jokes. Shadow Ball. That Shadow Ball looks weird with that sprite. Whatever. One shot? Yeah, one shot. And with that, Gengar reaches level 54. He was probably at level 54 after I beat that gym that one time, because I actually, I don't think he beat any Pokemon in the gym this time when I used him. He beat one Haunter, and that was it. An Aria Dose, so let's just whip out Charizard real quick. Let him burn this Aria Dose to the ground. Go down, Aria Dose. You don't stand a chance. Burn! I wish I had Charizard I Y, so I could Mega Evolve him into Mega Charizard Y. Mega Charizard Y is very powerful. With Drought and its special attack boost and everything, it's ridiculous. I love using it in Y. Mega, Char Mega Charizard X is good too, but personally my favorite right now is Y. Now Charizard, you just finished this one, you know? Pinsir, you got a Mega Evolution, which isn't the greatest looking, but it was alright. I mean, you're bug flying now, which doesn't do... It's not the best type combo ever. Mega Scizor, now that's a good Mega Evolution. Mega Scizor looked awesome. Did it get a type change? I'm pretty sure it's still Bug Steel, unless I'm forgetting. 
Gyarados for some reason. I knew he got a Mega Evolution and I had seen it, but I haven't used it myself, but I've seen it. And apparently he becomes Water Dark. Like, that's not a very good type combination either. A Max Ether, sweet. Alright. You know, if we end up getting two more D-Stones randomly, probably gonna get Flareon and get rid of Bite for Flame Door or something. My Pokemon are worn out from the latest battle. Well, then why are you fighting me? If your Pokemon are worn out, and I'm meant to, like, put Tauros at the front of my team instead of Gengar. So you're sending out your weakened Tangela? It's at full health. What are you talking about, worn out? You're full of crap, Lady Shadow Ball. Get this thing out of my face. Even now that he has Shadow Ball instead of Nightshade, it still, like, inverts the color, or whatever the word is. It changes the color. Pretty sure invert is the right word. I could be wrong. And I forgot to start my stupid timer, which I always forget to do, so let's start that so that I have some kind of an idea of how long I'll be recording. I'm going on vacation tomorrow, so I'm trying to record a lot. I think I need to record an hour of this, and dang, this chair is squeaky. I need to record an hour of this, and then two other things. I already did Final Fantasy. Um... I think Minecraft mod Pixelmon, yeah, I need to record that, and then I didn't read what that kid said, and then I'm gonna record, what else was I gonna record? Oh, um, something Minecraft, like, something on Hypixel, or, um, oh hey, a ditto. I was gonna record something on Hypixel, or Super Craft Bros, I'm gonna wait and see if Samuel gets on later, and see if he'll record anything with me. If he does, it'll probably be Super Craft Bros, or The Walls on Hypixel. If he doesn't, then I'll probably do, like, TNT games or something by myself. A Raichu? Tuh, bring it. Bring it on, come on. Your Ditto couldn't do anything. Your Raichu is most definitely better than a Ditto, but, I mean, it's still gonna lose. One shot? Yeah, one shot. Tauros is probably about to get confused, so I better switch him out. What else have you got? A Flareon! Hey, I was just talking about Flareon. Let's see what's better, your Flareon or my Jolteon. Here's a hint, it's the one that isn't a fire type. Jolteon, you uh, you wanna drown that for me real quick? Where's my cursor? Is my cursor on the screen? Where is it? There it is. Nope, now it's off the screen. It was for a second. I wanted to make sure, oh no. I hope that didn't mess up the recording. I accidentally scrolled over the little show desktop thing. It doesn't look like it stopped the recording, but if it did, that's gonna suck. Ah, uh, so close to a level up. You'll get there one day, Jolteon. What? There? Yep, you got beat. Get over it. Are we in East Sudan yet? What's this? Area 122. Two. Area 123 is up. Area 121 is left. Down is Mystery Woods. Mystery Woods? That sounds like fun. Um, no. I want to go to my Poke Gear. Am I in East Sudan? I am in East Sudan. So Mystery Woods is right beneath me in Area 123S. Oh, south and north. Okay. So there's that, and up there, and then there's the underground tunnel, and there's Granaldo City, there's Granaldo Cave, and why can't I scroll over to the stuff on the right? Okay. That's confusing. Let's go down to the Mystery Woods. Now that I think about this, this is beta 4.0, so this hack might not be complete, so we might not be able to go any further. Which would suck, but I guess that just means whenever the complete version or beta 5 or whatever comes out, I'll get it and then continue this, but I never actually checked if this was a completed hack or not. It just, I just downloaded it, it said beta 4.0 and it looked really long. There aren't that many trainers in East Sudan due to the, to this part being less populated than the West. We do have one big city a little to the north though. Granaldo? Let's go check out these woods. Mystery Woods, entrance, let's talk to this guy first. Where do you think you're going? I think I'm going into Mystery Woods, and if you try and stop me, I'm going to beat the ever-loving crap out of you. That's what I think. Why are there only cool trainers over here? None of you guys are cool. You're a Nimrod. Your name is Nimrod. You are a Nimrod. Sucks to be you. Horn attack. Ha-ha! Horn. How much did that do? Uh, uh, oh, ha-ha, come on. Tauros, you can't bring him down to, like, 2 HP and not finish him. I mean, really? Come on, man. Uh, finish it off with Pursuit in case he tries to switch out. Boom. Dead. 
That's the last time your pharaoh is going to be flying, buddy. What else you got? An Ampharos. Ampharos got a Mega Evolution. I haven't used that one yet either. I don't even have an Ampharos in X and Y. I don't even know if you can catch Mareep and all that. I have the Mega Evolution Stone. I have the Ampharosite. It was really easy to get. It's one of the, like... There are only, like, five or six Mega Stones you can get before beating the League. And Ampharosite is, like, one of the first two or three you run into. You, like, get the one that the Professor gets you, and you're learning out of Gyarados. You get the one that the Professor gives you for your starter, and then I'm pretty sure the next one you run into is Ampharosite. But, uh... For some reason, it becomes... Electric Dragon. I don't really know why. It seemed a little random. It doesn't look very dragonic either when it evolves. It just gets like the white hairs. The long hair and the white tail and all. Eh, it's, it's alright though. It's There are worse Mega Evolutions as of right now. Like my favorite Mana Trick getting a stupid looking Mega Evolution. It looks dumb, but I haven't used it yet, so maybe it's so awesome it'll make up for it. Hey, there's another Celebi Shrine. Whoa, wild Pokemon while well, I tried to talk to the sign. Pidgeotto, I do not have time for your, your bull right now. Do not have time for your crap, man. Get out of here. Die. Are you dead? You're dead. I didn't even have to attack you. I did not have time for your shenanigans. What's up? You can use this shrine to restore your Pokemon back to full health. Don't ask me how it works, I really don't know. Are you serious? I think you're full of crap. You are surrounded by a holy aura. Celebi, is that you? Oh sweet, thank you. I love you, Celebi. <laughs> Dang it, wild Pokemon. Hyper speed. Weeping Bell, really? What? What did you think you were gonna do, Weeping Bell? Did you? You're level 32. Why did you jump out in front of me? What did you think you were gonna accomplish? Ugh. I'm hyperspeeding because they're apparently coming up like every three steps. I heard a rumor that this small forest holds a secret behind it, but there is clearly nothing interesting in here. Uh, that's a load of crap. There's gotta be something interesting. It's probably something plot related that will happen later. While I'm not dealing with you either, Bloom, I just want to click around for a minute and see if there's any hidden stuff I can find. These are headbutt trees, aren't they? Trees that you can headbutt? I don't know. Dang it, wild Pokemon. I don't want anything to do with you guys. Moving right along. Let's head back upward. Because these woods were apparently a waste of my time. And let's head to, I guess, Grand Grand City, whatever it was. Grand Deline, Grand Deline. I shouldn't be telling this to everybody, but have you heard the rumor about the mystery woods? Yes. Ah, I see. No, wait, never mind. I changed my mind. No. Why am I pressing space so much? It said that the woods contains hidden sectors which will appear to the person entering the woods if this person has the permission to see them. Haha, <laughs> why am I sharing this silly story to everyone? Sorry, boy. Don't get your hopes up. I didn't make that up myself, but really, who would believe a story such as that? Okay, so apparently it is something that will happen later. Hey dude, what's happening? Did you hear that a research center in a place called Argent Warehouse was disbanded? Many scientists that originally worked there continued in another research center we've in a city to the north. Oh, really? 123 North is left, 122 is down, 126 is right. Let's head right. What is to the right? I'm pretty sure there was a city that was closer to the right than it was up. Hey, you look like a trainer. You know what? Me too. Oh, really? I couldn't tell by the fact that you had an exclamation point above your head and you came over and talked to me when you saw me. But um, to the right, Area 126 or whatever, is the spot where it wouldn't let the map, the Poke Gear, go over. So, go see what's up with that. That's what we'll do. Thrash. Get out of here, Butterfree. Actually used a Butterfree once. Back when I first started, stopped being such an idiot and used more than one Pokemon, I, for some reason, only used two Pokemon, and those Pokemon were Charizard and Butterfree. And I used Charizard a lot more than Butterfree. By the time I got to the Pokemon League, my Butterfree, I think, was level 40, and my Charizard was level 60-something. It made the League easier. I, I beat the League. I beat the League when I only had one Pokemon, too, eventually, but it made the League a lot easier having a Butterfree and Charizard. What you got left? A Rapidash. I'm gonna switch out. 
and let Blastoise handle this.